The thing is this, Allah is capable of anything, right? When he says be, it is, okay? That's how he created Adam. Be and it was the universe be and it was Jesus be and he was, right? And he and the Virgin Mary got pregnant because God said be and it was. He sent the angel Gabriel and he blew the spirit into Mary. We believe these things, okay? But though he can do everything, he doesn't have children. Someone might say, well, why not? You know, if he could do anything, why can't he have children? Because that goes against his nature. You understand? It's not that he can't. It's that it goes against who he is. He is sovereign. He is one and alone. He is, you know, wahid, meaning he is the one and only. There's no, no other God but him. And God doesn't have children. This concept, historically, is a very pagan concept. God doesn't have children. We believe that Jesus, peace and blessings be upon him, is not God. Rather, he was someone sent by God. A messenger, like a prophet. A messenger of God.